there's a lot of ways we can go at what's going to be, appears to be, a coming disastrous vote. One is some simple statistics. Between 1947 and 1979, the whole population's income went up about 100%. Everyone did well. Whereas between 1979 and 2009, I'm very pleased to re report. Ooh. All right. I can, I can do this without a microphone. I'm, uh, did somebody stand on a portal? Or it was the hot statistics that were getting <laughs> um, I am pleased to report that the top 1% in the, in our, oh, magic. Thanks, Casey. The top 1% went up by 169%. They did very well. And at the same time, I am horrified to report that the bottom 20% went down 7%. Down 7%. In this nation, that claims when you give tax cuts to the rich, all will do well. All have not done well, and it is very clear that that's the case. So there's a statistic. I'd like to tell you a story about Billy. Now, this is me, this is Sister Diane from the bus, and this is Billy. He's a father of two kids. He and his wife moved from Chicago to Milwaukee, no offense to Chicago, because he wanted to get his kids in a better situation. His older son, who was turning 13, was getting a little interested in some gang activity, and he didn't think it was good for him. He got a transfer from his job, and when he got to Milwaukee, he worked really hard for a couple of years at his full-time job. And then in the recession, he got cut back. He's working now in a part-time job. It's the most his employer can do. But this employer has said they want to keep him on, but they just can't pay him more. And he and his wife realized that they had enough money to put either a roof over their head or food on the table. So they chose a roof. Because every night they go to St. Benedict's Dining Room in downtown Milwaukee in order to feed the kids a wholesome meal. They'll be really excited when school starts again because right now they're having a really hard time making the other two meals for the kids. Billy told me, you know, when you're a parent, it's okay if you only eat twice a day. But when you're a kid, especially two boys, they really need to eat. Billy and his wife have qualified for EITC, the Earned Income Tax Credit, and for the Child Tax Credit. To cut them off is immoral, is wrong. And this family is only one of hundreds of families that will be devastated, who have already seen their economic buying power corroded, have seen jobs disappear before them, and are now suffering trying to make it a go of it. I also want to point out that by Billy getting EITC and the child tax credit, it's a benefit to his employer. His employer cannot have a starving employee. His employer cannot have a homeless employee. His employer would be devastated. So EITC and the child tax credit are business subsidies as well as important contributions to families. Mm -hmm. And we need to be clear about that because that brings me to the last point. The fact is we are a nation that is united. It is not about the 1%, the 2%, the 99%, the 98%. It is about the 100%. And that's what we know as people of faith that Jesus talks about in the scripture. Sure, it's hard for the, per the rich person to get through the eye of the needle. It's hard to get into heaven. But the fact is, only when the rich share, when we come together as a nation and reclaim the fact that we are in this together, will it really make a significant difference. And so there's a vote today that I believe is going to go, it seems like all the prognostications are that it will go in an immoral direction. I am proud today to stand with the U.S. Catholic bishops who say that immoral direction is wrong and must not occur. The Catholic bishops have spoken out strongly on that because they know our faith is grounded in 100% where we're all together. And I would like to point out finally that it's also who our nation is. We, it is an unpatriotic lie that we are individualistic. That is unpatriotic and it is a lie. The fact is we have to return to our Constitution 
and the first three words tell us who we are as a nation. We, the people. We, the people, the 100% need to care for all and be involved for all. That's the appropriate vote. A no vote on this bill is required as a moral statement, as a patriotic statement. I urge the House, please, consider Billy and his family and the rest of the families in our nation. Thank you.